Not only is it Friday, it's National Margarita Day. We're glad to have Jared here from Hyde's Taco and Tamale telling us a little bit about some of the specials happening. This, this looks yeah. amazing. So uh, today is National Margarita Day, like you said, and at Hyde's Taco and Tamale, all day long, our house margaritas are going to be $5. Can't beat that. Tax included. That's $5. And then also, our salsas and our cheese dip appetizers are only $5, too. Well, I tell you what. Uh, Every time I come to Heights, I have to get a, uh, a margarita, of course, mm -hmm. the non-alcoholic <coughs> sure. version. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But... Didn't know we made that. It is fantastic. <laughs> it is... I mean, you guys That's have really... About. <laughs> I, I, I take the, uh, the alcohol out with a straw. Oh, okay. And then, and then I drink. Milk. Very scientific. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Uh, but you guys have perfected the margarita, it seems like. It, it, we uh, have a very, very good uh, margarita recipe, but it's... A good margarita is easy. You start with good tequila. Uh, you want 100% agave tequila. Mm -hmm. You can find very cheap and affordable tequilas like that, like Rancho Alegre, which is what we use. Mm -hmm. Then you want fresh lime juice and you want simple syrup. You don't want a pre-made mix. You want to mm. put your fresh citrus and your fresh um, uh, and your homemade uh, simple syrup where you can buy a bottled simple syrup for that. And it's a simple recipe. Just proportion it correctly and you're going to have a delicious margarita. So you have the traditional margarita. Do you have other flavored oh, types of margarita? Have, we have, uh, I think on the menu there's a about like three to five different margaritas. Okay. We can make just about anything you want. We can add a flavor on top of that. Uh, frozen one, if you want some cassis on there. Do you stir them out in pitchers like this too <laughs> for the table? Hey, Sue, is that a rough <laughs> week? I wish we did. I wish we I'll did. I'll take the picture. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, cheese dip comes that way though. Oh, so, how yeah. can you tell? You know, I, I've never thought about this question, and Jared, I'm going to put you on the spot. What can you tell about a person and how they order their margarita? If they order it on the rocks, if they order it frozen, if they order it with salt, or if they order it not? It's honestly all about personal preference. I, I've actually been a bartender, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and sometimes I want a frozen cocktail because uh, I know I'm going to sip it, and sometimes I want something on the rocks because I'm going to drink it a little faster. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it just depends, <laughs> just right? depends on uh, where you are in the night or what, uh, how your day is going and, and what you're actually so wanting out of that drink. Which one do you get? I am always frozen, and I always want salt. Okay. okay. I like yeah. on the rocks with salt. That's my usual go-to is on yeah. the rock salt, although I love our frozen margaritas. Yeah, frozen's yeah. really good, too. Now, the key is you always get a little bit of salt with the drink. Yes. It, it just... And oh, I, it's just... Yeah. I don't know why. The but salt helps kind of cut a little bit of the sweetness with the simple syrup in mm -hmm. there. Um, but it's... Uh, you don't necessarily need it if you don't want it. Um, but salt on a margarita is the way to go for me. I agree. 100%. Yeah. Jared, $5. thanks so much. $5. I know. $5 I know. can't Only beat $5. that. Only $5. All right, guys. We'll be right back. These are the non-alcoholic versions. Absolutely, yes.